Well, what do we have here? She's a pretty sim, isn't she? All that custom content... Custom content really makes a sim look very unique. No. She looks crap, and she's typical, and just because a sim has a lot of custom content on it doesn't change the fact that, that, that she is a face template one spawn. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you guys how you could possibly make a unique sim. Possibly. Not definitely, possibly. First thing you have to do is start off with all the basic Maxis stuff. No custom content whatsoever. So let's strip her off. See what I'm talking about? Look at this lighter. Her face doesn't change at all. Face template 1. This is a, the most common mistake that people make. When making a sim, the first thing that I usually pay attention to are the ears. Now, most people don't even know that the ears in Sims 2 can change. I want you to pay attention to the sliders again. Notice how when I change to the fourth face template, the ears change, they go out a little bit. The template with the most noticeable change would probably be the elf template face, which is found very very far back, where the ears become really really pointy. Check all the other face templates. Have fun, mix it up! The eyes are the windows to your soul, and Simish eyes are DEAD! 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 Most of the Max's face templates have really really big eyes, and that's what we're trying to avoid. Or you can give them really really big eyes with like different sort of twisted or whatever eye shapes. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna give my sim small eyes. If you played around with ear shapes, you'd probably end up with a, a different nose shape as well. So you can leave it alone, or you can uh, play around with it. For my more realistic characters, I tend to move the nose closer to the mouth. Or the mouth closer to the nose. Um, Either way. For this sim, I'm just going to give her a slight crooked nose. Just a little bump. Actually like that. It gives her more character. If you look here, you can see that um, this sim, Sandy, who will be starring in my short series, Vampira, has a long, thin, almost horse-like nose. I gave that purposely because she's supposed to come from like a noble family and and I, I thought I always felt that long course like noses sort of give that um, impression. Now for the mouth. Well when I want to make a sim really really cute I tend to make the eyes big and the mouth really small to emphasize the eyes more. I actually like to put the lines at the side of the mouth sort of make them deeper ever since I played Silent Hill 3. I, I just I love the lines. By putting the lines at the side of the mouth you can play with lighting in Sims 2. Really, it, it just it just shows like whatever that means. The jaw has got to be one of the most obvious Simish feature out there. I mean, the face shape is definitely the most obvious indication of the face template one. Everyone has the same shape. So here I'm gonna make her face shape kind of round and give her a little bit of a double chin, just a little. Playing around with the eyebrows. Around this point, you can touch up um, all the other parts again. I mean, you're almost done with the general shape of your sim. Right now, I'm giving her a slightly more serious expression. Finally, after you've touched up this and that, you might touch up again later on, but um, this is a time when you can use CC. Yay! Often different kinds of skin tones give different types of people, so play around. Na -na 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 -na. In my opinion, eyes are probably one of the things that can really make a sim pop out. So for the main character, choose wisely. But that doesn't mean just choose the prettiest thing there is. I mean, sometimes it doesn't fit the character. 
the character's, uh, well, character. For instance, if the character is supposed to be very, very plain, you might want to choose something that's a little toned down, no sparkly sort of um, reflections in the iris and blah blahs. Eyebrows! Woo! The eyebrows can really, really help um, define your character. Um, so here, I think I'm gonna make her a little cunt. <coughs> yes. <coughs> Makeup! Yay! Well, this is a fun part, really. You can really change if the skin allows. I mean, like, um, Ren Sim skins uh, tend... Uh, is not a very malleable because you can really tell that's from Ren Sim, so... I I'm, not, I'm not saying anything bad about Ren Sim. I mean, like, God, I love your stuff. Uh, ah! Anyways, um, yeah, makeup. It can really help change how your character looks. Um, the ones that sort of give little details like shadows in the, in the nose, um, sort of freckles and and um, sort of that sun kiss sort of touch to the skin. And that's exactly what I'm doing right here. Uh, I'm not actually going to go into detail on what I'm doing right now. I want you guys to experiment. Remember not to, to use too much. I mean like less is more but sometimes you, you tend to do you tend to use more to give um, those little details that a lot of people love but if you do plan to do that remember to use it I mean you, uh, now this is more into directing I don't really want to get into it but uh, basically um, show the details if you're giving them Now, this girl looks good as a tomboy. I could give her short hair and make her tomboy, or I could give her long... Actually, I want to give her long hair. Sort of make her slightly... Well, well feminine, but with a tomboyish edge, just slightly. Okay, well, I'm done. Now let's look at the before and after pictures. Thank <laughs> you.